please stand. De pie, por favor.
Savior and my God. I will go up to the altar of God, to the God who gives me
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to our Cathedral of Our Lady the Angels for this uh, special ceremony of the ordination to the priesthood. It is a great joy for the Archdiocese and uh, for the Church in the United States and for the Universal Church when we have the ordination of the new priest for the Archdiocese. It is wonderful that we are together today, uh, so it's very special. So let's start a celebration opening our hearts and souls to the grace of God, acknowledging our sins, and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, listen, I am a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for you to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Speak 
Let us pray. Lord our God, when governing your people, make use of the ministry of priests. Grant a persevering obedience to your will, to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del Libro de los Números En aquellos días, Moisés le dijo al Señor, ¿Por qué tengo que cargar con todo este pueblo? ¿Acaso yo le he concebido o le he dado a luz para que me digas, toma en brazos a este pueblo como a una nodriza a la criatura y llévalo a la tierra que yo juré darles a sus padres? Yo solo no puedo cargar con todo este pueblo, pues es demasiado pesado para mí. Si me vas a tratar así, mejor quítame la, quítame la vida y no tendré que pasar tantas penas. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, Reúne setenta ancianos que te conste que son sabios y prudentes y maestros del pueblo. Condúcelos a la puerta de la tienda de la reunión y deténlos ahí conmigo. Yo voy. Yo voy a bajar a, y a hablarte y tomaré una parte de tu espíritu para entregárselo a ellos, a fin de que compartan contigo toda la carga del pueblo y no tengas que llevarla tú solo. Fue pues Moisés y comunicó al pueblo las palabras del Señor. Y congregó a setenta ancianos de Israel y los colocó cerca de la tienda de la reunión. Entonces el Señor bajó, de, bajó en la nube y le habló a Moisés. Tomó el espíritu que había, que había en Moisés y se lo entregó a los setenta ancianos. Y cuando el espíritu se posó sobre ellos, se pusieron a profetizar. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. No 
lentamente las misericordias del Señor forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord se llena una alianza con mi elegido jurando a David mi siervo te fundaré un linaje perpetuo edificaré tu trono para todas las edades cantaré eternamente misericordias del Señor forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord He shall say of me you are my father my God the rock my savior forever i will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm cantaré eternamente las misericordias Encontré a David mi siervo y lo he ungido con olio sagrado para que mi mano esté siempre con él y mi brazo lo haga valeroso. His horn will be exalted. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, my rock that brings me victory. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit 
through the bound of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. 
You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruits that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let those to be ordained priests come forward. Deacon Patrick Ayala Garcia. Deacon Caesar Anibal Guardado Marin. Deacon Sergio Rene Hidalgo. Deacon Andrew Daniel Hedstrom. Deacon Francis Kim. Deacon Jihoon Kim. Deacon Michael Cooney Masteller. Deacon Matthew Thomas Miguel. Most Reverend Father, the Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, to, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and especially you, my dear brothers, who are about to be ordained. This is a beautiful day, as I was saying before, in the life of the family of God here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. I'm so happy that we can celebrate this moment together in person. Thanks be to God. 
<laughs> These months have been very difficult for all of us. It has been hard for our priests to be separated from their people. So as we pray for these men who will be ordained today, let us uh, pray especially for all our priests as we begin to fully open our parishes and welcome our people back. So Patrick, Cesar, Sergio, Andrew, Francis, Jihun, Michael, and Matthew. Today, your names will be inscribed in, the, in, the, in that ancient and noble list written in heaven, the list of those men called throughout history to be the priest of God. The first reading from the book of Numbers reminds us that the ministerial priesthood who has deep roots in salvation history. The priesthood was part of God's plan for, from the beginning, from the foundation of creation. Today, you will be given to share in the very spirit, in the very spirit of God. In just a few minutes, when we impose our hands on you, the spirit of the living God will come and rest upon you just as God bestowed his spirit on the elders in the time of Moses. Treasure this gift, my brothers. Live with gratitude and joy every day. The spirit you receive today sets you free to live no longer for yourself. The priesthood is about leaving yourself behind and giving all to Jesus giving him your voice, your hands, and your heart, proclaiming the, his gospel with your life. So Jesus is speaking directly to your heart in the gospel today. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. I, ha I have called you friends. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So our Lord has called you today, at this particular moment in salvation history. Um, I want you to know that you are the second class of priests that I have ordained during this pandemic. <laughs> so you are priest of the pandemic generation. <laughs> as I said to the new priest last year, but that's not just a slogan or nice words. Every generation of priests faces its own unique challenges in terms of evangelization. The Church's mission to this generation will be shaped in many ways by the losses and disappointments of these past months. First of all, the loss of loved ones for their livelihood or their security. But also the fact that many of our neighbors are questioning their faith in God and are struggling to have hope for the future. As his priest, our Lord is calling you to lead this generation to a new awakening, a new opening to the reality and the power of the living God. The words of Moses in that first reading gives us, give us a beautiful description of your mission in this moment. As Moses said, you tell me to carry them at my bosom, like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised. This is who you are, my dear brothers. You are ordained to be the fathers of God's people. You are call called to carry his people and to care for his people with the heart of a father. Just as St. Joseph was called to care for Jesus and Mary, you are called to protect and nurture the family of God with compassion and patience, with courage, creativity, and sacrificial love. God is real. 
His love is true. As he has plan, as he has a plan of love, and he has a plan of love, a dream for the life of every person. We need to proclaim this great message again in everything we do in the church. People need to know the truth that God reigns and they are loved. That God wants them and needs them. That their lives have a purpose for the building of his kingdom. This is also, my dear brothers and sisters, our mission, our apostolic mission, to help people to understand and see God's love for each one of, each one of them. So our beautiful task is to show people the path to life, the path of true happiness and love, to lead them to the heavenly homeland that God has promised to those who love him. And of course, my dear brothers, we know that our personal example is always more powerful than any words we speak. So what St. Paul says today is an important advice. Live in a matter worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience. So my dear brothers, our Lord is calling you now to give your life to him and walk with him, to share in his mission and to be his friend. That Jesus is humble and gentle and patient with us, I pray that you will always treat your people in the same way. I entrust you and your priestly ministry to the tender care of Mary, our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the, of the Angels, and the Mother of the Church. May you always love Our Lady, Our Lady with true devotion. And may she guide you and keep you close to her Son. That your priesthood might bear rich fruits and awaken many hearts in this generation to this beautiful promise of love. <clears throat> and my dear brothers and sisters, let us also pray for our brothers ordained today and for all our priests. And let us especially ask Jesus every day that we will call many more men to this beautiful vocation of being his priest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Beloved brothers and sisters, because these, our sons, were your relatives and friends, are now to be advanced to the order of priests. Consider carefully the nature of the rank in the church to which they are, they are about to be raised. It is true that God has made his entire holy people a royal priesthood in Christ. Nevertheless, our great priest himself, Jesus Christ, chose certain disciples to carry out publicly in his name, and on behalf of mankind, a priestly office in the church. For Christ was sent by the Father, and he in turn sent the apostles into the world, so that through them and their successors, the bishops, he might continue to exercise his office, his office of teacher, priest, and shepherd. Indeed, priests are established co-workers of the order of bishops, with whom they are joined in the priestly office, and with whom they are called to the service of the people of God. After mature deliberation, these, our brothers, are now to be ordained to the priesthood in the order of the presbyterate, so as to serve Christ the teacher, priest, and shepherd, by whose ministry his body, that is, the church, is built and grows into the people of God, a holy temple. In being configured to Christ the eternal high priest and joined to the priesthood of the bishops, 
They will be consecrated as true priests to the New Testament, to preach the gospel, to shepherd God's people, and to celebrate the sacred liturgy, liturgy, especially the Lord's sacrifice. Now, dear sons, you are to be raised to the order of the priesthood. For your part, you will exercise the sacred duty of teaching in the name of Christ, the teacher. Impart to everyone the word of God, which you have received with joy. Meditating on the law of the Lord, see that you believe what you read, that you teach what you believe, and that you practice what you teach. In this way, let what you teach be nourishment for the people of God. Let the holiness of your lives be a delightful fragrance to Christ's faithful, so that by war and example you may build up the house which is God's church. Likewise, you will exercise in Christ the office of sanctifying. For by your ministry, the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful will be made perfect, being united to the sacrifice of Christ, which will be offered through your hands in an unbloody way on the altar, in union with the faithful in the celebration of the sacraments. Understand, therefore, what you do, and imitate what you celebrate. A celebrance of the mystery of the Lord's death and resurrection Try to put to death whatever in your members is sinful and to walk in newness of life. Remember, when you gather all this into the people of God through baptism, and when you forgive sins in the name of Christ and the Church in the sacrament of penance, when you comfort the sick with holy oil and celebrate the sacred rites, when you offer prayers of praise and thanks to God throughout the hour of the day, not only for the people of God, but for the whole world. Remember then that you are taken from among men and appointed on their behalf for those things that pertain to God. Therefore, carry out the ministry of Christ the priest with constant joy and genuine love, attending not to your own concerns, but to those of Jesus Christ. Finally, dear sons, Exercise for your part the office of Christ, head and shepherd, while united with the bishop and subject to him. Strive, strive to bring the faithful together into one family, so you may lead them to God the Father, to Christ in the Holy Spirit. Keep always before your eyes the example of the Good Shepherd, who came not to be served, but to serve, and who came to seek out and save what was lost. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyterian rank as worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the world worldly and wisely preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the Church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with with us, God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care, by observing the command to pray without ceasing. I do. Finally, do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all?
¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios, que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Let us stand. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on these, his servants, whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Let us kneel. Pray for us. Saint Barbara, pray for us. 
Saint Vipiana, pray for us. Saint Andrew Kim Taiga, pray for us. Saint Toribio Ramo, pray for us. Saint Oscar Romero, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Reeves, pray for us. Saint Maria Garati, pray for us. Saint Emilius, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Ephraim, pray for us. Saint Patrick, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint Philip, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Claire, pray for us. Saint Bernardine, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint John Youth, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Kateri Takawitha, pray for us. Saint Philip Neri, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Joseph of Cupertino, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Louis de Montfort, pray for us. Saint Sergius, pray for us. Saint Hermano Pedro, pray for us. Saint Didicus, pray for us. Saint Eugene de Mazenod, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint Josephine Baquita, pray for us. Saint John Bosco, pray for us. Saint Damien of Molokai, pray for us. Saint Bonaventure, pray for us. Saint Junipero Serra, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Saint Pio Petriclina, pray for us. Saint Jose Maria Escriva, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Ferdinand, pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc, pray for us. Saint Juan Diego, pray for us. Saint Dominic Savio, pray for us. Saint Charles de Foucauld, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained and faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. 
Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Comfort with your mercy and the troubled and the afflicted. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us, we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out on these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that those whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Please be seated.
<clears throat> Draw near, O Lord, our Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ, your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different, different orders. Already in the early covenant, earlier covenant, offices arose, established two mystical rites. When you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men, and with their help he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you pour an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you send your Son into the world, Jesus, who is Apostle and High Priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the, world, the whole world. And now, we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness, to grant us these helpers that we need to exercise exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, to these your servants, the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May their henceforth possess this office, which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy of workers with our order, so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even, even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful stewards of your mysteries, so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so, may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your, your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated.
take my tears, my joys, my liberty. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. The Lord Jesus Christ, with the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Lord Jesus Christ, the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God.
The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer, offer sacrifice to God. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God.
Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and confirm, conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate. And conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
God be at my end and at my departing. Congratulations, Gun, a new priest.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who have willed that your priest should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grind by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our dear and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the Church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. You, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. 
For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clitus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christos, Christogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things you may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that to your whole family, which we make to you also for these servants, whom you have been pleased to raise to the order of priesthood, and your mercy keeps safe your gifts in them, so that what they have received by divine commission, they may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that they may be, it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread, and in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, God, O oh God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, O Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. Humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, and decide to your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing.
Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, th who those sinners, hoping your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, and Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant great peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are called to the supper of the Lamb. We are not worthy that we should enter the the body of Christ. As you come forward this morning to receive the body of Christ, I ask that you please follow the directions of the ushers. The body of Christ is only distributed on the hand. So as you stand before the minister of the Eucharist, if you would please extend your arms forward with your palms up. Please keep your mask on. Once you receive the body of Christ, make your way to the yellow X that you will see on the floor. There, lower your mask, consume the body of Christ, and then continue to your seat. We also invite you this morning, even if you are not going to receive communion, if you would follow the communion line in order to continue to maintain the social distance between us. A recibir la comunión hoy día, les invitamos por favor que sigan las direcciones de los sugieres. Es muy importante cuando se acercan a recibir el cuerpo de Cristo que mantengan sus mascarillas puestas. Van a extender sus brazos con sus palmas para arriba. El cuerpo de Cristo solamente se da en la mano hoy día. Ya cuando tienen el cuerpo de Cristo en sus manos, pueden caminar hasta el X amarillo que van a ver en el piso. Ahí bajar sus mascarillas, consumir el cuerpo de Cristo, poner su mascarilla y luego seguir, o seguir a su lugar en las bancas. Aunque quizás no van a recibir la comunión hoy día, les pedimos por favor que sigan la línea de la comunión así para mantener la distancia social entre nosotros. Muchas gracias. Tu 
cuerpo y sangre juntamente al alma fiel en celestial manjar al alma fiel en celestial Rechazado, ingrato fui, confieso mi maldad, contrito ya, perdón Señor te pido, eres mi Dios y Mi Dios imploro tu bondad. Espero en ti, piadoso Cristo mío. Oigo tu voz que dice ven a mí. Espero, oh Señor, de ti. Celeste pan que da salud y vida, cáliz que quitas toda mi maldad. Afligida por ti espera calma mi ansiedad. Por ti espera calma mi ansiedad. Amante, mi corazón se abraza en santo ardor. Si te olvidé, prometo que constante he de vivir tan solo.
Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priest and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. So, um, as we um, have the tradition of praying the pray for priestly vocations uh, every time that we celebrate uh, the ordination of priests. So, if some of you already have it, you, you can pray together. Yeah, you all have it in your program, last page of your program. Probably the first time that we have programs for anybody, so that's what I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let's pray together. Father, Father in every generation, generation you provide ministers of Christ, Christ in the church. In the church. We come before you now asking that you call forth more, more men to serve our archdiocese in the ministerial priesthood. Give us priests who will lead and guide your holy people, gathered by word and sacrament. Bless us with priestly vocations, so that we can continue to be a truly Eucharistic Church, strengthened in our discipleship of Jesus Christ, your only Son. Praise out, we pray, men who are generous in their service, willing to offer their lives and all their gifts for your greater glory and for the good of your people. We make our prayer. So now we also have the uh, tradition of uh, asking the... Uh, Newly ordained to give a blessing to to us, to the bishops first of all, and then to their parents. So, the, the, please be seated.
ist better, ist better, So we have eight new priests for the archives. Give them a big applause. <laughs> now, I think you have your assignments. So we hope, I mean, we expect you to start working right away. So I know that you have some uh, uh, few weeks of rejoicing before you go to your parishes, but <laughs> but uh, uh, we are very grateful to all of you for for your effort to, and your response to the call of God, and we are happy that you are the new eight priests of the archdiocese. So congratulations, and you are in our prayers. I also especially want to thank the, uh, the parents and the families of the newly ordained. Thank you for all your support to, to them and to all of us. And we are in our prayer in a special way.
Thank you also to uh, Father Marco Durazo on the faculty of St. John Seminary. Thank you very much for everything that you do for our seminary. <laughs> we also uh, especially pray for the seminaries of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and the other dioceses or communities that are at St. John Seminary. You are in our prayers too. And then, finally, the recently ordained deacons, transitional deacons of the Archdiocese. Congratulations and <laughs> prayers to you all. So let's continue to pray for one another, and especially uh, as we come to uh, this new, the new normal, uh, that we come back to our parishes and uh, continue our, our Christian life, and especially bringing the goodness to the, of the gospel to the people of our time. So please stand for the final blessing. And uh, I would like to ask our, my brother bishops to accompany me, giving the final blessing. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May God, God for blessing. May God who founded the church and guides her still protect you constantly with his grace, that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. Amen. May he make your servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful minister of reconciliation. Amen. Amen. And may he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and the word of life to the faithful, that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Juntos en la fe de Cristo.